Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Kane Self Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. We're going to do section two of knife defense with a cane. And again, assisting me is Mr. Bob Kelly. Now, from the last video I did on the knife, we talked about several different ways someone's going to attack you. This one, we're going to do a slashing motion. Now, understand when you do a slashing motion with a knife, when something's coming in, there's more. To, there's going to be more to this video than just this one. Because when they're coming in with a slashing, there's a couple of different things I can do against this. But also you have to understand if they miss you, they're going to come back with a backlash. Almost like in tennis with a backhand, or they're going to come with a knife. So we're only going to cover a few, so this video is not that long. So I'm going to cover two techniques so far for slashing this way, and I got some more for that. And then in another video, the other videos, I'll do the second part of that. And then I'll cover the back in another video. But right now, I'm gonna, again, we're going to use the foam cane. And then we're going to go to the real one so you can see a little bit better of the wood when we're working the technique. So, again, keeping us in frame. Mr. Bob, I'm going to stand here so you can kind of see where he would slash. As he slashes, he might be coming across the face. He might you know, come across the body, the throat, anywhere he's going to slash. So as he does that... Go ahead. I'm going to hit into that arm and catch either the leg, I'm sorry, the head or the leg, either or. So you're going to come faster now. One, two, just like that. And another, and I'm going to break that technique down. If I happen to be a lot closer, he starts to slash, I'm going to redirect it and catch it in the kidneys area, in the back area. So I'm going to break those two techniques down. First technique. And we're going to go slow again because we have a wooden cane. So keeping this in frame, back up just a little bit, sir. There we go. Because if I'm any closer, and I'll do videos on that, that's an entire different animal. As he starts to slash, I step to backwards, but at an angle also, catching that wrist area. From here, I could go into his knee or into his head, depending on how severe the situation is. Me, I'm going to go for his head, but you can also hit the knee. One more time. He's slashing in, going back, making sure my arm is up, hitting that arm, and then head or knee. I happen to be a little bit closer. He starts to do that. I come up, and I'm going to go slow because if I hit him in the elbow just right with this, it's going to hurt him a lot. I like to call this redirecting versus really a, a traditional block. I move it as I'm back from this position. Now I'm going to ban that strike right in there, and then I can follow up with another technique. We're going to go slower because I don't want to injure someone's elbow with this wood. He starts to slash, redirecting it, striking, and then again hitting. So that technique, I'll do those two real quick again. He starts to do the slash. I go backwards but angle. Strike it into that arm, either the face or the knee. I happen to be a little bit closer. He starts to slash, redirect it out of the way, hitting into the kidneys areas, and striking into the face. So those are two of a few more we're going to cover. But right now, I don't want to make this video that long. So work those techniques. Make them yours, as I always say. And hopefully they help. Gary Hernandez, and I will see you guys very soon. Thank you.